welcome to Sleep Tight Stories. Corona Villain versus the Stay at Home Kid by Laura Olaney. On a dark winter night, in a dingy and smelly lair, floating on a giant green booger, in a puddle made from spit and dirt, there was a secret meeting. The Council of Microcreeps were putting together plans and schemes. I hate the world, said the evil Ebola. Why do people always have to hug each other and kiss each other? Cried Influenza. If I see another concert or wedding, I am going to throw up, exclaimed the mad measles. Just then, the door opened and a new guy strolled in. Name's Corona Villain he said quietly, and I'm new in town. I can take care of these pesky people for you. What makes you so special? Asked the others. They've never seen me before, he replied coolly, and I'm fast like lightning. Before they even know I'm around, I'll infect them all. I'll take their concerts and their weddings and their playgrounds and swimming pools and make them into places where people get sick. How will they have fun without playgrounds and swimming pools? Ha 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 ha! They will fail and we will win! All the micro creeps laughed with an evil cackle and Corona villain got to work. A few months later, humanity was in a tough spot. It seemed like Corona Villain was winning after all. He had shut down airports and concerts, universities and playgrounds. People were afraid to talk to each other and afraid of the future. They didn't know how to fight back, so they did silly things, like buying all the toilet paper to build walls to keep him out. But Corona Villain didn't stay out. He traveled the whole world. He visited every country, and he didn't even have a passport. His plan had succeeded, and nobody was going to stop him. But he underestimated humanity, because we had our own heroes. The Council of WHO convened a meeting. They recognized that the job would be big, they put all the scientists and doctors and nurses in the world to work on defeating the Corona villain. But we need time. Who will keep humanity safe while we research our secret weapon? We need to build it and test it and that could take many months, said Dr. Strange. You're right, and Corona Villain is fast like lightning. He has traveled to every country, and he doesn't even have a passport, said Dr. Who, the leader of the WHO. They were starting to despair. People were crying in the corner. Others were shaking in fear. Just then... A ringing sound came from a nearby phone. Doctor Who answered the line and put it on speaker. Howdy, partners, said the voice. I'm the stay-at-home kid, 
and I reckon I got the answers to your problems. The heir was full of hope at his words. What are you going to do? asked Doctor Who. Well, actually, it's not just me. I have a whole gang of stay-at-home kids, and we're tough as nails. We're going to buy you some time. We are going to lead the world through this while you work on the secret weapon. Together, we're going to defeat Corona Villain. The WHO Council met all through the night to work out the details of their plan. It was risky. It was going to need cooperation from everyone in the world. That was a lot of people. It was not going to be easy for people, but Doctor Who said, as long as we can count on the stay-at-home kid and his gang, I think we have a chance. And the stay-at-home kid was true to his word. He and his gang used all of their superpowers to defeat Corona Villain wherever they saw him. This bought precious time for the secret weapon to be developed. They started phase one of their plan. Whenever they left the house, they wore their bandito masks to make sure their secret identities were safe. And the most important thing they did was to outsmart the Corona villain. They knew that he was trying to use their playgrounds and their pools and their hugs and their friends against them. He didn't think they knew how to have fun without those things, but he underestimated the stay-at-home kid. They danced and they made funny videos, they dressed their dogs up in costumes, and they decorated their windows. They sang songs and they built forts, they did classes online, and they learned about the world. They had so much fun that Corona Villain could hear them laughing. And he started to get nervous. He also started to notice that when he went prowling around, he couldn't find anyone to infect. He went to the pools and they were empty. He went to the playgrounds, and nobody was there. I'll try the schools, he said to himself. There's no way they would miss school. But when he went to the schools, he found the doors locked. They can't beat me. I know their weaknesses. They need to eat, and so they'll be at the grocery stores. And sure enough, he went to the grocery stores, and there were many people there. He started trying to spread around and make people sick, but there was a problem. Had they figured out his weakness? You see, even though Corona Villain was fast like lightning, he jumped about as well as an elephant with a sore toe. Which is to say, he couldn't jump very far at all. And now everybody knew it. As long as they stayed six feet apart from each other, his weak little jumps couldn't cover the distance. Frustrated and angry, he paced back and forth in his lair. How could they be winning? He thought he had them. But then he had a nasty, evil thought. And his nasty, evil face broke into a wide smile. 
They might have known his weakness, but he also knew theirs. He knew that he didn't have to jump between them if he focused on one thing. He would stay on their hands. Humans touch everything with their hands. They can't help it. I'll just ride on their hands and they will spread me everywhere. <laughs> he laughed to himself. He would not lose with this plan. But he didn't know about the superpower that the stay-at-home kid and his gang had been working on. And as soon as the Corona villain started attacking their hands, they used it, and it was magnificent. The hand wash of heroes. Every time they used the hand wash of heroes, the Corona villain found himself being swept down the drain, and he hated the drain. And as they saw that it was working, they used it even more. The stay-at-home kid and his gang used the hand wash of heroes in the morning, and at lunch, and in the afternoon, and before dinner, and after dinner, and before bed, and even when they got up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. They were unstoppable, and Corona Villain was losing. Back in the WHO base, they were getting closer and closer to finishing the secret weapon. The weapon had to work all around the world, so it took a long time to build, but the heroes were working very hard. And the stay-at-home kid and his gang did their part with laughter and dancing and selfies and the hand wash of heroes. Finally, the weapon was finished and the world used it on the Corona villain. He was banished to the sterile zone, an alternate universe where infections and micro creeps go and never return. And then the world had a giant party where they could hug and kiss and play in playgrounds and swim in swimming pools. And they celebrated the heroes who had saved the day. They clapped and cheered for the doctors and nurses and scientists who had built the secret weapon. They thanked the people who gave them food and water while they were at home. They clapped for the teachers who helped them learn. And last but not least, the whole world cheered for the stay-at-home kid and his gang. They had truly saved the day. And now that the day was saved and their work was done, the stay-at-home kid and his gang decided it was time to disband the gang and go back to being ordinary kids. But if ever the world needed them again, they would be ready. <laughs>